everyone, this is Rochelle, and today I want to show you guys this hair that I received. This hair was sent to me by a brand new company. It's called Max Glam. And this is my first time receiving hair from a company off AliExpress. I've been seeing a lot of videos of people reviewing, you know, brands from there. And like I said, I don't know much about it. I know it can be good, it can be bad. Okay, but this is a new one. So new, in fact, that they don't even have packaging and stuff for this stuff yet. But, um, nevertheless, I was still sitting there, I said, okay, you know, I picked this one, I said, let me see how it, how it looks, how it does, and do you, it is gorgeous, it is really pretty. So I have a 20 at the bottom, a 20, and then the 18. I haven't cut it yet, but as far as matching the curl, I was able to do that really, really, I, so it occurred to me, just doing a twist out or flat twists didn't look right, okay? It just, it was two different types of curves, okay? It was right, but it just, it didn't fit. It wasn't, it wasn't wide enough. What I did was I flat twisted the hair. I had some hair out and I flat twisted it. And then I took two bands or, or strips of um, like Marley hair and I kind of twisted it with that. So I started off with the braid with the, just a flat twist and then I took the Marley hair and right after I was, if the hair was off of the scalp, I took the Marley braid hair and I just twisted it kind of like a Senegalese twist type deal. And I just twisted it all the way down while I was wet. I had a little oil and stuff on it, and that's it. And I let it dry, and then it went that way. It gave it more room for the little S shape. Do you know what I mean? Because it was hair in between. I don't know if I'm making sense. Like I said, maybe I'll put a clip somewhere so that you can kind of understand what I did. And yeah, if you look, let me see. Okay, can you see here? No, is that me? Here I am. Like, do you? Can you see how that matches perfect? Like I said, the luster is different, but I can get it to shine. Um, it's just I have to perfect that technique so I mean if there may be another way you probably can curl it and do other things I'm not putting heat to my hair this is just what I wanted to do <laughs> to see if I can get this to blend and I think I did a pretty good job with it it's not a low luster hair um, it's not super shiny but it's silky okay so I'd say maybe from a mid luster to I'm learning this okay <laughs> work with me if that's even a thing mid luster to high luster mid to high Okay, I would say that. I do feel like, you know, if your hair is a low luster hair, you're gonna, and you're natural and you wanna try this out, you might wanna try to blend it on stretched hair already and then try to kind of twist it and get it going. That'll help because it is a silkier texture. But it can be done. Oh, no smell at all. No smell, thank gosh. This hair is very soft. When I first got the hair, I tried to run my fingers through it and I honestly did notice a couple of snags. I didn't notice any shedding, but I did notice a little bit of snaggish. So I attributed that to it being dry. When you first get this hair, you do want to, obviously you want to wash it and stuff or condition it, but deep condition it. It was a little bit off of a, um, a 1B. It wasn't a 1B at all, but a natural black at all. I think it's about a two. I did dye it and I used the dark and lovely. I think it's called soft black. That's like my go-to. That's just what I use. It always matches perfectly with my hair. And I did feel like, I felt like the curls kind of dropped and loosened a little bit once I dyed it. So I did notice that, um, but I liked it. But I will come back to you and let you know overall whether it sheds, but initially, no, it didn't shed at all for me. I didn't notice anything like that. I'm usually doing wigs, but this is, I'm getting better at making these myself. A lot of you been asking for, um, you know, tutorials on how I did it. As soon as I think I got it, I'm gonna show you. And the reason I'm saying I don't got it is because everybody, well, at least I mean, whatever. I know it's whatever. You just do what you do. But everybody's using these, these dome caps. And I used this last time on my last install. Um, every time I use these, I have issues. I don't, I don't even like the way they fit. It's too tight. I feel like I got a swim cap on. I just, I don't like it. I know this is not the most durable option, but I did go in with the actual weaving cap. And that is what this hair has been uh, sewn on. And no, it's not the sturdiest thing in the world, but this isn't like kinky hair where I'm gonna have to be pulling. It's very soft and silky. Again, this is a new company, it's called Max Glam. They don't have any type of packaging or anything like that. It just kind of came in these little cellophane bags with like um, the inches or the lengths. Um, a little sticker with the links on them. If this is something you are interested in, do click the link below. Like I said, if you're waiting and you really want to know how it is going to perform, give me about two weeks, two to three weeks, and I will come back and let you know kind of what I think about it. I think it's gorgeous, guys. I think it's gorgeous. It's soft. I don't know what else I can say, but I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this very quick review. Questions, comments, concerns, do leave them below. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. I just said that, didn't I? I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.